guys still hear me? Did Fox forget to mute me? Well, thank you so much for the raid. Hi, how's it going? Uh, just a fair warning, this channel is R-rated, so if you're easily offended by miscategorizing my games under retro and uh, foul language, uh, the door is just that way. Feel free to get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Otherwise, sit your fucking ass down and have a good fucking time. How's everyone doing today? Hey, we're back. <laughs> oh no, put that boner, put that penis away, pretzel. Hide your boners. Uh, how about you, Pretzel? How goes the podcast task floor? Hey, what's up, Slaithy? How you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, we, we just finished it then. We're just doing some Q&As now, so feel free to Q&A us if you, if you like. Um, and you came from grocery shopping. What'd you buy? What'd you buy? And what else we got? A pet behemoth. What's up, dude? Um, oh, you got Game Tracks' email. Wiggly Afro. boners. Wiggly boners. Wiggly boners. Damn, damn, Pretzel. I was drinking when you did that. God damn it. Right, I'm late, but I made it. That's all good. Oh, and Girl from Class, thank you so much for the, um, uh, for the resub as well. Thank you, Girl from Class. And is there anything else we missed out on? Music to my ears. Jeez, the chat moves so quickly when when I put the BRB screen on. People just jack off to that music. Hey, it looks like Sax. Thanks for coming in as well. It looks like Sax. I really appreciate it. Hope you've been well, man. Hope you've been well. And Ibby. Interesting discussions. Not much to add, but... Oh, thank you, Ibby. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, we live for it? Hell yeah. Yeah, the discussion kind of went all over the place. It oh like. my god, yeah. I got exhausted. I, was just, I actually was like wrecked. I was just like, I was like, I got nothing. Press was like, don't ask me any more questions. I'm done. <laughs> I was done. Yeah. Streaming the PS5 event. Yeah. Um, I'm good. I'll just wake up and read the news. Full screen dog to Pretzel. Pretzel, I, 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 don't, I can't do full screen and this is annoying. Uh, hold up. Pretzel, stop asking me questions. I'm tired. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. good. Uh, Thank you, Camo. Mm. Yeah, does anyone you have, guys a... have any? I was going to ask if you guys have any topics you want us to bring up next time. Mm. We're always looking for topics to talk about. Yeah, like feel free. Like if you got a question that's been burning you that you feels like a relevant topic to the gaming industry, chuck a question in. We'll, we'll happily talk about it. Fennel did. Games morality. This article. Let's have a look. Actually, I can't. Can you look at it, Pretzel? Sorry. Yeah, I'll look at it. Um, by Polygon. Uh, games need to return to black-white morality is the title. No. Bemoaning the lack of tension in stories around black-and-white morality, many writers believe readers prefer the quote-unquote unpredictability of gray morality, which is in stark contrast to the clear objective morality in black-and-white games. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Gray morality presents a worldview that states these two people aren't that different, a perspective that actually widens the disparity in our fractured world. Our lives are already gray, and these shades seem to be keep getting muddier. That article just seems like, I don't want any difficult conversations. Can you please make the game baby for me? That's what that article to me, what you just said there. Mm -hmm. Did I just summarize it just then? Yeah, pretty much. Um, who's the most prob problematic publisher? That's a good question as well. Um, I probably would wait. Um, honestly, the answer off the top of my head is probably <laughs> everyone does something. You bad, know what we can do? I, oh, oh, Fox, how would you feel about like uh, one of these podcasts? Maybe the next one we do like a top five on our own individuals. So like top five worst publishers. And then, like, we work our way from five to one, oh, like, going, like back and forth. It's so depressing. <laughs> I know. I don't want to talk. <laughs> That's my head. How, what, what, okay, how about, we, how about we do, like... Publishers on how hype? About we do hype! Top three, top, top three best and top three worst. Yeah, like, that can be pretty much an entire podcast. Top five best, top yeah, five worst. Yeah, that actually, you know what, that would... that Because it would, probably would, because if we listed every shit thing for every publisher... Because I actually think the worst publisher is... Oh, don't say it. Don't say it. If we're going to make it, a, I want to be, I want no, it to be a surprise. No. Well, I want it to be a surprise. I'm going to write this down. All right. Podcast. Ooh, so this ooh, is the topic. Travis, ooh, ooh, good question. Let's put it as a, uh, as a section. Top five podcasts on Twitch. 
Fox about to spoil the next episode. Oh god! Well, if Aussie Gamer's not here, I guess I gotta be spoiler gamers. Spoiler games official. So how about next podcast? We'll do. Uh, I want. Can we, we can pretty much make I don't the do entire it. podcast? I don't want to do it next. Five, I don't want to do it next words. one. I, I'm happy to do it later, but not next. Next one, okay, or not next one? Got yeah. it. Uh, okay. what, what are your guilty pleasures in gaming? Like games that you consider terrible that you deeply enjoy playing? Um, I don't actually consider any game I play terrible, terrible. So, um, it's because you're a hipster. Yeah, I know. So I, so I, I think I don't like that. To, I actually, I don't know how how it came about. But the, you know, can we put that as a we can put that? As, we haven't actually even done underrated, overrated games of the. No. Oh, actually, guys, actually, let me just sorry to shout myself out, guys. Um, so this Friday for me, guys, I'll be doing my big stream again, sixteen hour stream. Where I do the wasabi dab. So every every fifth sub, uh, every twenty five dollar donation, and that I'll do a dab of wasabi, and we're gonna play a lot of games. Sixteen hours of pure streaming. Um, last time I did that stream, I think I had like over twenty dabs, and like, I I, I, I let's just say I regretted it. Um, but yeah, so. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be back. So feel, so if you so if you've been winning, only twenty, yeah. It looks like sex. That guy's like, I could do a hundred tabs. Um, the smoke you said while you were great is adorable. Oh, thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, what about topic on streams to spend too much money on equipment? Ooh, fuck yeah, Mocha. Yeah, Mocha mentioned that last that's time. That's a fucking good question. Yes, I can. I know now. Do zero dabs. Um, but yeah, so that's and I, I've I've picked one game because Pretzel wanted to do a um uh, an o- underrated game of the week, and I said I don't want to talk about it because I haven't played it yet, and I actually might actually play it this this fri- this Friday coming up. It's only like a four or five hour game, but I've always wanted to play it, and then I got to think of some other. Well, games maybe to we can make game. it both of our underrated game then that week. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually more happy if we did if we both agreed on one Pick game. One just picked one okay unless if it's like yeah. a game that i've played and then you haven't and vice versa yeah yeah that's fine because like this this game that you know a certain game that you know with a with a certain torch with a yeah so like you know i'm gonna play that so at least that way i can actually discuss because i actually don't want the game spoiled for me actually i've always i've avoided mm-hmm. spoilers that game for my whole for like fucking over 15 years now how long how old that game is now mm-hmm. do you have a physical copy of that game uh yes, I have it on Wii and oh shit, I just ruined it. Um and on the do I have the other version? I think I do have the other version. Hi, in the to, United States, the other version is very rare. It's very hard to find. For I, in Australia, it's actually not. I oh actually hold up. Hmm, maybe it's rare in Australia as well. Hilux two. Actually, I might do Hilux two as well. I might do like a portion of it, a girl from class, and then um and then I'll finish it off like uh, during my normal scheduled. Pot, um, because I've been dying to play Hilux too. Going, guys, I fucking love it. Our fifteen is not very red though. Oh my god! <laughs> In Australia, they uh, are. <laughs> Sleepy said favorite niche or cult classics like Deadly Premonition cool. or Dragon Guard. Yeah. That's um, that's gonna be an underrated game of the week. That's that's actually gonna be like a normal segment we're meant to have, but we haven't done it yet. We just haven't gotten to it yet. No, because yeah. we we just keep getting topics in that. Um, mm-hmm. That'd be heaven for me. Love hot sauce. Uh, camo flash wasabi is different to hot sauce. Wasabi just instantly hits your pain receptors, hurts you, and then goes away after like 10, 15 seconds. It's different to hot sauce. It's got a different flavor as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but but yeah, thanks guys for these suggestions. I really Mocha, I really like that question about the stream setup stuff. Um, why do people like wasabi? because uh, you can mix it and it actually tastes pretty nice. Um, I actually have wasabi on my on my sushi. Do you guys I like hate wasabi? Uh, you guys like hot things? Uh, well, I like you, Dragon Dart. You're quite hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hate wasabi. I like hot sauce, but I hate wasabi. I like them both. I I, ju- I just don't like horseradish. Period. Um, I was gonna say now that uh, question about the um streamer setup. That's a beautiful thing because I remember I'll never forget when this certain streamer came to my stream and said. I'm going to spend my uh, weekend doing bid alerts. And I said to him, but who's going to give you bits anyway if your content's shit? Yeah, we can change, we can uh, broaden and out, like just spenders that, streamers that spend too much on equipment alerts, etc. Not just money, but time. 
Instead of just fake fixing the core problem, which is themselves. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other topics. Yeah, go for it, Sax. What's it? DRM? DRM. Oh, just DRM and just, just DRM? Just the statement, DRM with an exclamation mark at the end, or DRM with a question mark at the end? DRM there? side eyes? Side eyes? Open world DRM? <laughs> Pretzel, it's okay to laugh on the podcast. I said that joke, and you like went that silent laugh. I was like, Pretzel, just let the laughter out. <laughs> let it out. I'm trying to make it more fun. I'm in a weird mood today. I'm in a weird mood. The past couple days, I've been very, very tired. I was like... It's in- a, it's a- I was into the podcast and then like two hours, no, however long it felt like that microtransaction, I was just like, this conversation is not going to end. There's just so many layers. No. And I was just tired. I, know, I was like, I I've already said it. <laughs> um, first streaming in the world of OnlyFans. How's fan service affecting streaming in general? Okay. Put that as you a maybe. that to the list? Put that as a maybe question. Your thoughts on DRM general on video games, such as the Take, uh, take a Gog and the, you know, own games if you buy online. We actually did talk about that, Sax, today, about digital online games. Yeah, we, that's what we talked about when it came to, we uh, talked about digital only. Uh, we segued from talking about Scott Pilgrim to that. Mm. VTubers, what's VTubers? Uh, VTubers is people who use a virtual avatar to play the game. So instead of, you know, Should... so, so, so being a webcam with you or me, it'd be like a, like a virtual avatar, like a Hatsune Miku situation. Should they be allowed? I don't see why they shouldn't be. There's people that stream without a webcam. Or there's people who stream with a burger avatar, Poppy Eric. Yeah, Poppy. 100 bits. Let's get that shout out. Use a laughter track? You can add a laughter track. Oh, most My typically... Use... Am use... Oh, oh use they, portray... they're using VTuber uh, as a way to bypass sexuality restrictions. Oh, okay. Mm, maybe. Yeah. But that, I mean, there's problems with that in the asthma community. Oh, yeah. A lot of problems with that in the asthma community. You call it asthma? I call it ASMR. I don't know. I've seen a VTuber Trump before. Damn. I mean, I guess as long as it follows the term. But hold on, VTubes are meant to. VTubes are meant to follow the terms and conditions anyway. Like, you can't do. But young underage girls shout them champagne. That's like crossing the line there, I think. That should be banned. Yeah. Mm hmm. Good question. Absolutely. Um, so, so, do you have any like close? Uh, do you want to expand on anything we talked about today? Yeah, I know that you said you're kind of done. Like anything you wanted to like uh, you, that you thought about as far as like categories and stuff like that. No, honestly, like I honestly generally think like we covered everything. Like I had nothing else to add to anything. <laughs> Sound like you were saying asthma community. I oh, know. So there's one sort that you can chew to shout bits. It was gr- that's gross. Press that like you're taking a breath of talking about asthma. Partner too, of course. Of course, they're partnered. Uh, Poppy, just do a veg. Just do a, become a VTuber. Yeah, there you go. Just become a yeah, little I'll... Christian boy, and then like every time someone donates bits, a priest comes out and like <laughs> shakes your hand <laughs> for the for the shaking hands a metaphor. Um. Yeah. Like as far as like the categories, one I I kind of got more passionate about than i thought i would yeah you were going um, ape shit about it because like discoverability on twitch just sucks i i don't know if anyone really is want it wants to disagree with that feel free to oh, discoverability yeah. on twitch sucks I so f- i'm all for ways of increasing discoverability i fucked up my first two or three months of twitch because the first three games i streamed was resident evil 2 day one when it came out secure day one when it came out and i think I think I did Spider Man. Oh, uh, Spider Man didn't matter though. Sleepy Grims, thank you so mm. much for the three hundred bits. Whoa! Didn't, didn't expect. Sorry, I need the. Uh, sorry, the alerts aren't on the screen. Another two hundred more bitties. Oh my god! Thanks for the five hundred habituals. <laughs> appreciate it. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. I did. I didn't. I. Did, it's been. It's been. Thank you, man. I just didn't expect anything today. Like I really. Thanks to Girl Class as well for that resub. As I already did mention in that, but you got. It's about feeding down viewers to the big guys. Yeah, trickle down economics, Poppy. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about the topic of ruling partnership from people when they consistently perform under the requirements? 
are they actually doing that Jarvis or not? Because I've seen people... Or is that a hypothetical? Do they do that or do they not do that? What about increasing the requirement for affiliate or creating something between affiliate and partner? They don't. Okay, they don't. They should though. I don't, I don't think they should. Uh, pa- I don't think That's they a sh- tough one. I don't think they should. What would be the point? But you're coming from the perspective that you haven't got partner yet and you're just like mad and you just want to win. You got that blood loss. But then there's those people who, who get partner, they work their butt off, but then something happens in their life, like they, I don't know, they get cancer and they're in hospital for ages or they just have a mental breakdown, they don't feel like streaming and they come back and the channel's like half dead. I think that's mm. a slap. I, I think they should keep the tick, honestly. Yeah. What would be the point? As far as like, um, because the gap between um, affiliate such a low barrier to entry, um, and then when you reach partner, then partner you seem to jump up in the benefits that you get from it, right? So I think that you could find something in between, like you could do, um, you could have like scaling emotes, scaling emote slots, or just like. I an part- increased number of emote slots. I think partners do have scaling emote slots. They do, but there's a jump, isn't there? Once you reach partner, you get like a large number. Yeah, but um, uh, I remember Miss Mika said she needed like an extra 100 subs or whatever to get the next 15 slots or whatever. Something like something like that. She said a number. I forgot what it was. Mm, okay. I'm gonna, should there be something beyond partner? Oh, it's called becoming godlike, like Poppy Eric. Yeah. I think they should just increase the difficulty of affiliation. I really do. Yeah. Because like, I, I'm not a fan of... um. Let's just say there's a few pleb tier streamers that just started streaming. And I knew day one they were going to be shit. I just had that feeling. Like the way they interacted with me in chat. I just knew they didn't have the charisma to even just carry a conversation. So imagine them when behind a webcam, which is even harder. And then, um, and then of course, everyone's like, let's go support them. Because everyone supports everybody on Twitch. Which we did talk about in, I think, episode zero. Yeah, and then, and then it was like, let's go give them some hype and support and shit. And then they do their first stream, and then that first week they get that hype, and they feel like, oh, I'm, I'm I guess I'm okay now. Whereas mm-hmm. like, like they, they, there's no getting good. They haven't, they haven't. It, instead of, because like I come from the world where my first stream sucked. I was I had my one viewer, which is Joseph True, when I did Twitch, and then I had two viewers. Mm-hmm. My co co work from work because you want to watch play Resident Evil two, fifteen twenty viewers. I reckon ten. I reckon ten because tens kind of hard to when you're going from zero to ten takes a long time um yeah like so like affiliate was for me it took me four or five months same. maybe to get affiliate same uh, and i started I, I don't know if you guys know like so fox started on youtube then switched to twitch and mm. i know that the youtube didn't really carry over right no nah, i only had J- okay. J- jt prisma a handful of people did follow me from YouTube, but then they stopped because they just didn't like Twitch, the interface. They were just yeah. being stubborn. I started Twitch with nothing. Literally, like, I didn't watch anyone on Twitch. Uh, so I wasn't part of any communities. I didn't have YouTube. I didn't do anything like that. I literally just turned on a cam and capture and started. Uh, and it took me three to four months. If you're already part of a community and you have been and you're just a decent person and you decide to start streaming, you'll get affiliate. It's easy. Do you'll you get s- it. Do you see a lot of, seeing a lot of achievements come to Twitch early? Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Pfft. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I feel, I feel like because of that four month grind, four month grind, when I had to try my fucking hardest, I feel like I became a better streamer because like I had to, I had to try my best to like, I had to like test drive if anyone came in, how to like keep them engaged, keep them coming back. Cause that's the issue. Like when you were in your variety stream, like I was, and then you got people that come in and be like, I'm just only here for cross code. I'm glad I'm, I was so thankful like that person admitted it. I'm here to watch cross code. I'm like, good. And so I've been shitting on cross code the entire time just to talk, just cause like that person just doesn't like any discussions at all. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, Camo uh, asked, what do you think of st- streamers who stream more than two, one platform at the same time? Once you hit affiliate, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't monetize. You can't monetize like that, no. 
just turn on the stream and it's going to... So I wanted to choose it. Yeah, it's good on you, Poppy. Because I, I guess I think that makes yeah, us. Like, I think that makes us tougher, honestly. Well, and so like for the first like three or four months, and I eventually met like with some communities and stuff like that. They were very small, and so like I might get two or three people in. You know what I mean? From, um, like two or three people in from like those other communities. But I had to basically like for those three or four months that I was working my way up, um, try all kinds of different things. They pee pee. Try like, try all kinds of different styles and like, okay, what overlay works for me? What times work for me? What games work best for me? How do I interact with these people? What works? What doesn't work? And I feel like that if you hit affiliate too easily, like it it's, can be, it can encourage bad behavior, not encourage bad behavior, but doesn't necessarily encourage introspection and growth. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's how you feel about it. Well, the thing is, like, we've, um, I guess back to Poppy, you know, you said affiliate should be 15, right? And, like, I'm on, I think it should be 10. But, like, all these people that, like, jump start and skip past affiliate like you know because they're all part of the community was like let's go support the streamer he's brand new let's get help in that affiliate grind i feel like if it's 10 it's harder to cheat because three if you if you just got 10 10 people that lurk you and then and then that's it that's all it is they give that sweet hot number and then you don't really work on your personality whereas like if you had to get 10 15 you had you had to hope that those people lurk for ages and you have to like try it you know, should we uh, do an introspective growth as a live stream? Yeah, but Joy, <laughs> easier said than fucking done. How many people would do introspective growth? Mm-hmm. No one, no one asks hard questions and shit. I know so many people that, like, yeah. Well, Joy, that's the thing. Like, that's why I don't like positivity streamers who just go, let's just be positive, positive, positive. Just everyone should stream. Like, they never talk about the negative sides. They never talk about asking yourself. Oh, Joy, like everyone's. Self awareness is like the most important thing in this world. I actually think that's why I like Joey. Well, and then there's that one certain streamer, and I won't name their name, but like he, this pleb tier streamer, and he's still a fucking pleb. He still has his. He used to have five viewers, and I could tell that those five viewers were from his communities, and um, and then slowly but surely, like those those pity lurks became they just went gone because there was like you know what this guy's boring, and I'll mm-hmm. never forget when he came to my stream. Goes, I'm gonna spend a whole weekend doing my bit alerts. I'm like, why are you doing your bit alerts when you should, like, who's going to give you bits in the first place? It's just like, yeah, like this, this idiot. And like, I'm actually like one day he's going to come to my stream. I'm going to fucking rip him apart. Cause I'm so sick of him fucking self-promoting on, on, on thingos. And he's just so shit. He's just such a, he should not stream. Like he's just the zero charisma. And I know someone encouraged him to stream. I know the person who encouraged him to stream. And I would love to go to that person and be like, Look what you've created. Mm-hmm. You, you should and just, like, I, I just the, and like the, but the thing is, I think like that by increase by making affiliate so easy to reach, it creates this false sense of security that you are fine. Yeah, because you reach affiliate because you got a few like, you know, you know, founders badges and shit like that. That what you're doing is fine, and it can be hard to be introspective if you so easily meet that goal without actually having to quote unquote work for it. Yeah. I think that that's kind of what I'm saying. Everyone yeah. obviously should be, but that's an ideal, right? That's an ideal. And we know that not everyone is like that. Yeah. And certain, certain like feedback and consequences that we get will either in either encourage introspection or delay the introspection. Right. It's one thing, like, it was one thing, the different, here's an example, like, the first three months when I was averaging, like, two or three, like, at most, like, the introspection that I had from that is different than if once I hit affiliate, and let's say, for a week after averaging, like, 10, 20, and then I hit, like, two or three, it's a different type of introspection. It's a different type of, like, um thought process and it's really hard for me to i i don't know if i can elaborate on the differences but i think that it is a big difference to yeah. imagine have met a goal and then drop right versus slowly working your way up to a goal when you're when you're learning and building on successes 
Because I imagine because it feels like people that easily get affiliate aren't aren't getting it because they've worked hard and gotten there. It feels like it was baked in. They got success, and then afterwards, now it's a matter of okay, well now I got to keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. When they didn't really have to grow to begin with. Yeah. It's the age or like you know the rich kid dad dad and mom gives them their sick job and all their bills and pay for everything they don't have to stress about it and then you got that hard-working ghetto kid that has to like work his fucking ass off and shit um which is that's why i had to deal with because i'm i'm a ghetto i'm the ghetto kid and i remember my ex-girlfriends they were both rich and they had they did fuck all and like their parents gave them like everything that they needed and i could just see that the, the attitude change was so much more different like their struggles were so much different to my struggles um Mm -hmm. so i but like yeah that's back to like affiliate it should it should be tough i'm out here pedal on honest days pain for one two beans for two pain for one two beans a day what (laughs) penis and penis what sleepy grim pp did you say say small pp as in like basic 504 small pp energy um, as someone who hasn't reached affiliate yet, a high target would be better. It means you actually have to work for it rather than hoping you have a decent week and land on it. Yeah, because like that whole that uh, rich people get depressed easy. Oh nah, they, they both get depressed. <laughs> there's a di- there's a different there's a different types of it's a different type of depression. Because um, I used to suffer depression just due to I just feel like I just could never get further in life because I was hindered by my my upbringing. Um, but I was just got to keep remembering that Elon Musk did it, Oprah did it. Bill Gates did it, so I can I can do it too. That's Poppy cool. did it. Poppy did it, yeah. Um, so there's always a way. Just just got to figure out, which is that's the hardest thing. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, as someone, yeah, because like, because I guess for me, getting that three viewers, that was a fucking uphill battle. Because remember, it goes on the month statistics of my viewers, and because my first month or two. I should bring up my Twitch stats one day. I should. Just, I remember um, Zussi Poo, because he was talking to me about numbers and shit like that. And I said, Zussi Poo, check out this. And I showed him my graphs of like January, February, March, April. He was like, whoa. I was like, yeah, man. I had fucking no viewers, dude. Um, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll never forget that one time I was playing Sekiro and my friend, my actual uh, great hat, was out, he was in Adelaide for that weekend. He was sitting right here by me off, off camera. I had one viewer and then he disappeared. And it's just me and Great Hat just talking and like we're just drinking and shit, ready to go to town. And then we're just like beating and I beat that boss guy. And I was like, well, there's no one here. Might as well end the stream. <laughs> like that was such yeah. a and like imagine like my friend is right there and he sees me like, you know, doing the stream and he just sees like like I, I actually felt like I was a loser. I was like I'm just like showing like, hey guys, look at me, I'm an internet celebrity with zero viewers. Like how mm-hmm. I felt pretty shit. I was pretty drunk as well, so anyway. Um, yeah, but uh, some actually get depressed because of stuff like not getting what they want because they're used to getting what they want. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that I know what you mean. In a way, uh, I'm a way most people born into money don't face the vast from a moment, so when I finally encounter it, if they don't know how to move past it. Okay, exactly. Can I actually say something? You guys always joke about me being part of such. Thank you for doing that. You told us two of the biggest reasons my confidence is growing my casting ability. And, and Mocha too. We're not We're joking, joking, though. You are a partner. But, look, if I right-click on Papi Eric's name, it says, oh, tick hidden. Oh, why just just turn the tick on? Why, why do you keep turning it off? Yeah, come on, Poppy. Oh, man, grow up. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, thanks. Well, th- I'm glad that, yeah. Well, I look, I wouldn't lie about someone being good at streaming. Let's just say that. I don't blow smoke up people's ass. That's why when that person came in and said, guys, can you... I'm going to do my bit alerts. That's why I was like, I was trying... I was politely trying to let him know he's shit mm-hmm. that he should focus on his personality which i don't think he could even fix that when i look at this guy streaming he just looks like the guy who should be an engineer or a fucking statistician or a fucking i don't know just not streaming he's not a personality job and that is perfectly fine statisticians have personality you shut the fuck up well you don't have personality oh that's true <laughs> got him got um, him uh- so- so, I guess yeah. one of the things that I wanted to bring up is like, and this is kind of a hard truth kind of thing. Like there's different ways to support people streaming, mm. right? Just lurking them is a way of supporting, right? Like this isn't to say don't appreciate lurks. What I'm talking about specifically is 
if someone is obviously not streaming well, in other words, like, especially boring. if they have tangible things that you can point out, like if you had to write down just for yourself, this is, these are the things that Fox is doing incorrect. Right. And if I can sit down and I can write them down, but then I don't actually tell Fox any of that information, but I still go to his stream and like, don't actually help him in any way other than actually being in the stream. That's not very good support in my opinion. No, you know what not. I mean? That's false and that's hype. not to say that that's not to say that everyone you watch, you should be giving feedback and stuff like that. This is specific to people that are obviously struggling. They mm. either have vocally said I'm struggling or I don't know why I'm not getting, you know, big numbers or I don't know why I'm not growing or something like that. Right. Like just blindly supporting people without actually giving them anything workable is not very helpful to them yeah in my opinion it's kind of like being a, a bad friend in a way it is yeah like if i go like yeah it, main, main main let's just say me and one of my best friends him and i um once a month or once every two months we'll just have a big fucking chat like, we'll just talk about what we're suffering through, solutions, ways to work around it, um, and, and yeah, like, and we, there's no judgment, no ego, no nothing, we just, like, he, I, I said, hey, dude, I'm struggling, I remember I was struggling my channel one time, and it's just giving, he's not a streamer himself, he doesn't know fucking shit, but he was like, have you tried this and this and this, and I was like, oh, I haven't done that, and like, I was like, alright, cool, cool, um, and yeah, uh, how do you viewers viewers approach the stream without undermining them while providing Sleepy Grim? This is the thing, all right. I want to go full screen for this, but I can't. Sleepy Grim. Some I'll people... just go off screen. Hold on, I'll just go. I'm going full screen. Sleepy Grim. Some people are babies. I've been told so many horrible things about my stream, and sometimes my behaviors have been unnecessary or incorrect or whatever. I've I'm used to it and I can take it. I can take the criticism and honestly, you should not be doing streaming if you cannot take criticism at all. Like on Friday, I had to have a conversation with one of my viewers cause I upset them and it was completely my fault and I completely understand what they did. All I could say was say sorry and I'll try and work on it. And like she, like this person wrote a massive paragraph, huge paragraph like that would have taken like a good 10, 20 minutes. Do you think it was it was it was not easy to read? I I felt shit. I felt terrible reading it, but I I had to do it because apparently this behavior's been going on for months and months. But I didn't fucking know. Um, what I consider a joke to someone is not a joke to someone else. Um, so yeah, it's just like so, and like I took that as feedback, and yeah, that's part of part of life. Is like if you can't take feedback, then just put bubble wrap on yourself and do nothing. I guess. Um, but yeah, you always it's not get... always well received. Crystal said, "Then they shouldn't be streaming." Yeah, they shouldn't be if they and, can't and take back feedback. On and you're back on screen now. Oh, that. thank you. If they if they can't take feedback, they shouldn't be doing it. Just it's that simple. Yeah, it, that doesn't mean that every feedback you get is going to be good. It doesn't mean that you have to implement every feedback you get. Yeah. But if they if they make it so that they cannot be approached with feedback. And that they don't value your feedback, especially as someone that is obviously supporting them and wants to see them succeed. If they can't see that, they shouldn't be doing it. Mm. Just should, should not be doing it. Absolutely. So, yeah. I guess... And I, uh, uh, even when they say they want the feedback. Jarvis, that comes back to that person. Look, at the end of the day, if they say, I want feedback, you give them feedback and they, they cry and they just go, wow, 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 wow. You've done your job, done. Blood's off your hand. That's that's on them now. Um, but it's only but here, and here's another th here's another topic. Do you continue to support them after that? Oh. Do you still support them when it's been obvious that they don't value your feedback? Got them. No, it's an actual question. Like I'm at, like it's not a rhetorical question. It's an actual. I'm type feels question. guilty. That's on that's on you then, Jarvis. You got to try and get rid of that guilt because you shouldn't feel guilty. It it it's, it's a Twitch is a people need like 
I, and I know it's hard because like you're part of communities and you've developed like we've developed friendships with people and stuff. Twitch is a laissez faire economy. Go watch the people that you enjoy watching that bring value to you and that you feel like you bring value to them. Like if, if, it, if it's not like your time is a currency, right? You, you literally only have so many hours and minutes in your day and in the rest of your life left. Spend it doing something you want to do. Spend it doing something that brings value to you, right? Don't do it, especially if it like doesn't bring value to you and you're only doing it to bring value to them. And that's not to say like, don't be altruistic. That's not the point. The point is that like, if it if it's not a symbiotic relationship where both people feel better coming out of it, don't do it. There's so many other streamers out there. There's probably one that you haven't even met yet that is going to value you and your time and that you're going to feel that you're going to be so excited to go into their stream every time and you're not going to dread it mm. or you're not going to have to worry about walking on eggshells or you're yeah. not going to have to worry about like... Then playing Marvel's you know, Avengers and saying how great the game is. <laughs> that too. Don't go to a Marvel's Avengers streamer though. And like, I, I, how many, I wonder how many people... <laughs> like Fox and Pretzel. I wonder you can go miss it because you I'll always give you feedback because of that. Yeah, that's all good. Um but like I want I would love to know how many people silently have left my stream and never come back because of something I might have said that and I would love to know, like because there's some jokes I will say and I will say no matter what, and that person gets offended, that's on them. But if it's a joke that I said that probably I shouldn't have said, then then that's on me. But I would love to know all these people that have come to my channel. Because I, I remember nearly everyone's name. I think Avengers is fine. No bueno. And um, and uh, probably a few. I think uh, I think it would be decent. Oh, absolutely, dude. Um, but like, I'll never know what I did right or wrong in that situation. And that's that's the shit thing about Twitch. I always call Twitch the leaking bucket. It's a bucket, and the water goes in, and there's a hole in it. Uh, probably less than left because of the rap, 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 rap jokes. Well, Pratt's Pratt's was fault. Uh, My bad. Um, but yeah, like, it's a leaky bucket with, like, holes that pour, and stuff pours out. And, like, your job as a content creator is to, like, plug up as many holes as possible because people are going to leave no matter what because people are going to leave because due to life gets in the way, they find a stream better than you. I don't know, they don't like the game you're playing, whatever. Um, but no, yeah, but you keep touching my hair, Jarvis. But, like, but yeah, like, it's it's nice when someone tells you what's, what's you know, what's right or what's wrong. Um, but yeah. Because I don't know, I, li ways I, I live in my own world, compared different to other people. I, I, I like, I like challenging opinion. Because I fucking hated it in like high school when people, everyone liked certain things. I'm like, why do you like this? Why do you like that? So I'm plugging and and getting more water in than the leaks out. Correct, sucks. Correct. Plugging the holes. Well, so fixing the bucket. And there's so ways to support streamers other than just like positive platitudes, and just like, you know oh, I'm going to lurk your channel, right? And a good streamer and a good person would take feedback and try to take that and value it and improve based on it. You know? Um, I, I don't know. I'm kind of repeating myself. Yeah. So I apologize about yeah. that. I think we have nothing else to add to it. But yeah. Viewers start streaming and they don't support them. They don't come back as another reason. Oh god, that's another topic entirely. I want Fox to get a green yeah. screen. Well, please donate to my house fund so then I can do. It. Actually, I don't even want a green screen anyway. I like a background, honestly. I don't like green screen that much. Yeah, Mocha, Mocha bringing up the entitlement of I supported you, therefore you should support me. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's... Yeah. Someone publicly call you out on that. <laughs> Uh, hard to put yourself out there. I mind you guys doing. Oh, it's okay. Oh, look, I'm a I'm an attention slot anyway. I have to do this for attention. Otherwise, I I'd be depressed. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. Like, I have to stream. I hope you banned them. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, he keeps me changing because I got big and didn't hang with him. Oh, whatever. You hang with me still, puppy, and you're bigger than me. Yeah, same with me. And you're you, you get those sweet partner numbers. Uh, oh, because I've been dealing with someone who told everyone I'm MP because I don't support streams. Oh, whatever. Jarvis, the more you realize, the more you realize, like, there's a reason why people like Elon Musk succeed, and there's a reason why 99% of the population fail in life. Mm -hmm. 
But that's what it's taken me like a long time to get realize that. I think from twenty from twenty five when I read my first self self development book up till now, and then just noticing patterns of people's behavior, I I start to realize why some people succeed and one why some people fail. Here's the thing, like Jarvis and anyone else, if you're legitimately trying to help someone and it's coming from a place of wanting to support them, wanting to help them because you care about them. And they don't re- and they react in a way that is defensive, uh, not open to your suggestions, not open to the conversation. You need to trust that reaction. You need to trust that reaction you're getting from them. Right. Yeah. Don't don't really doubt where you're, don't doubt yourself. Right. It's obviously that person and they have issues. It's not you. It's me. Oh, sorry. It's, yeah, it's, it's exactly. not you. It's them. And here, and here's the thing, like, and, and it ultimately comes down to this. Like, if someone's doing something bad and you're still supporting them, you're reinforcing that behavior. Why do they have, they don't have a reason to change. Hmm. Why do they have a reason to change if it's working still? Hmm. That's ultimately it. Um, and that goes for streaming. That goes for life. Like, in general, like, it, it's the idea of reinforcement of behaviors, right? They, they've developed these coping mechanisms that allow them to believe or think whatever they want to, right? And they're going to keep doing them because they work. And if you, for example, like let's say I go into a stream and they're doing things, they're changing their stream in a way that like is kind of pushing me away as a longtime viewer. And let's say I talk to them about it and I say, hey, you know, I noticed you started doing these things. I just want to let you know I'm not comfortable with it or I didn't really understand or appreciate how you did this, this and this. If they there's a different like I said, you, just because you give feedback doesn't mean they need to utilize it. It's about what they do with the feedback and how they respond to you when you give feedback. Yeah. If they said something, if they say something like, you know, you know, I understand where you're coming from. I can empathize with that. Here's the reason why I'm doing the things I'm doing. I'm willing to take into consideration what you're saying, but I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Right. That's different than just like, Oh, I, I have a way and I'm doing it. You know, I have a way and I'm doing it. Like, do you have uh Fox? Do you have like uh, an example of something like that where you've tried to give feedback and it's like, like, because you genuinely wanted to help someone out, and like mm. it just blew up in your face not blew up in your face but like you kind of saw like this person doesn't really want help not on twist just my IRL friends honestly mm. um, I'd get 100 viewers if I shave my mustache I, I don't want those viewers then I don't want them but yeah <laughs> seems like we always go back to streaming uh, were you there when Jura shaped his stream? No, I wasn't there. Fuck those hundred viewers. <laughs> oh my god. Who? Oh, he, oh Jarvis, he would, looks like Sax wouldn't know. He, looks like only knows me and Poppy. And obviously Pretzel on screen. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and not, me! I know everyone, not everyone knows Jura. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because Aussie's any other Aussie's giving me I'm actually, sorry, what were you Aussie's giving me feedback. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember because I used to say, "If you don't like the channel, you can fuck off." But I changed it to, "If you don't like the channel, you can leave." <laughs> mm. I changed the words because he he said you might be scaring people straight away. And I was like, "Oh okay." And I wrote a friend of mine streams. That's very nice of uh, Aussie to give you feedback and for you to use it. Hmm. And IRL stream, a friend of mine streams. He gets super touchy in any criticism and he's only interested in making money from it. We're still friends, but I don't touch his content anymore. Yeah, stay away from him. Don't touch his content. No. That's the thing. Like, I, I'm going to keep emphasizing this. If you don't like their content, don't watch it. Stop supporting bad behavior and bad streams. Just don't. Like, just, like, take a moment and, and distance yourself from the person in your relationship for a minute. And ask yourself, if I discovered this person blindly, would I still hang out here? Yeah, exactly. Like, and that's not to say, like, like you know, 
discount your friendship and stuff like that. No, but actually like at the end of the day, like if Fox's content just started sucking all of a sudden, right? He and I are good friends and I would want to support him. And so I give him feedback and stuff like that. But if his content started sucking, I wouldn't watch it anymore. Yeah. That's not my, but he's still, he's, he's playing in the retro category often now. So I have a reason to come back to it. <laughs> and like, um, for example, my IRL friends, they supported me for a little bit. Um, but eventually a line got crossed where they went, you know what? Like we used to just watch you just as a boy, but now we actually just watch you because we just genuinely like the stuff we're watching on, on the screen. So to mm-hmm. me, that's a compliment where I've actually won that. I won my friend over as an actual viewer. Like they're not just there to pity like me, to pity support me just because of, because of friendship, but actually was there because they, that's what they want to watch, man. That's their entertainment. Yeah. At and a, a, as a streamer, like I joke about it in my stream when people lurk, the command says, thanks for the pity lurk. And it's a joke, right? Mm. Pity raids and all this stuff. I don't want people to pity me and to just give me lurks and shit because like, oh, he's streaming. I should help his numbers. No. If you want to lurk me because you like my content and you want me in the background, I completely get it. You know what I mean? Or if you want to support me, that's fine, right? That, Like I said, like I'm not calling out lurkers or anything like that. But like, mm. don't watch me if you don't enjoy my content, right? Just don't do it. I want to know that I'm putting out good content and that you're enjoying it. And the best way to get that kind of immediate uh, feedback is by seeing chat activity, viewership numbers go up, people showing up early or being excited to come into the stream, things like that. Not just people, you know, that like throw me on on a muted tab and that's their way of supporting me. Mm. Cause uh, here's the dirty little, here's the dirty little secret. Viewership numbers don't matter. Lord. Here's the view. Here's the, here's the dirty secret. Viewership numbers don't matter. They really don't. In my opinion, I don't think viewership numbers really matter. Like it, it's impressive to raid with 30, 40 and that, and it's really cool to do that. But like, for me as a streamer, it's chat activity. It's people that like, you know, talk about like being excited to come visit my stream. It's, you know, people remembering things, people that regardless of the game want to come in and hang out, you know, things like that. Mm. Like viewership numbers are, it's, it's an okay metric to kind of look at, I guess, but like, The difference between, let's just say, let's just, let me just put it this way on. There's been days where I've had viewerships in like the teens, but chat activity has been really high. Right. And I like those streams are great. And I love those streams. And there's been times where the viewership number has been in the thirties, forties and chat is just fucking dead. And I would much rather have the former than the latter any day of the week. Hmm. I don't know. Do you disagree with me on that, Fox? Um, yeah, it's always chat activity is super important because, like, uh, it's um, because it's like people coming out their way to type in the keystrokes to say, "What's up, man? How you doing? Mm-hmm. How's everything going? I gotta go have a shout. That's all right. No worries, uh, Panda. Thanks for coming. Ten times more important. Yeah. And besides, how much better? Imagine. A streamer comes in, like a random viewer, and they see chat activity going bonkers at a 10 to 15 mm-hmm. viewer stream. That person is likely going to either join in or at least lurk and be like, this guy seems all right. Whereas, like, as opposed to going to a stream of, like 30, 30 viewers and his chat activity is dead, he comes in, he might follow or lurk in that, but he'd be like, oh, the chat wasn't that interesting, so there's no conversation or anything. Um, Poopy, I got a question for you, dude. Uh, I like a lot because I'm often more times like watching away. That's okay, girl from No, guys. like I get I, I want to emphasize, I'm not calling out people and saying like, don't lurk, don't lurk, don't lurk. I'm just saying from a streamer perspective, like, like, like I said, 50 viewers where no one's talking compared to 15, where eight of those 15 are talking to me and we're talking back and forth and they're talking with each other. I much prefer the latter. Mm. You know what I mean? And only lurk if you actually enjoy the content. 
that that's that's ultimately what I'm trying to say. And yeah. I hope that it doesn't come off as being unappreciative of Lurks because that's not what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'm not trying to be un- unappreciative of Lurkers it. lives matter. Um I'm supposed to be extra chosen to her that happened. Yeah, that happened to me in Mocha a few times. Or like sometimes a lurker mm-hmm. might just drop heaps of cash on you and say, Oh, I love your content, man. Just I'm just working. Was that sick? Thanks, man. Yeah, Jarvis uh, said it like streamers that drop a lurk because they feel they have to. Yeah, mm-hmm. that that's networking. Yeah. Um or support. <laughs> Puppy, I just got a question for you, dude. Puppy, did you want the uh uh the Founders edition or the OEM card for the graphics card? The OEM edition or the Founders edition? Just sleeping. <laughs> Thanks, Sax. Yo, Founders? All right, cool, cool. All right, I'll message you now. Edgy Milk, if you're listening, Founders. Done. You're killing me here? Who's killing you? No one's dying. Um, oh, but... uh, fuck. So I was going to ask. Mm-hmm. Hey, or let me message it to you. Okay. To see if you want to do this. Okay. Oh, thanks, Edgy Mulk. Yeah. yeah. Um, see, so yeah, Founders Edition, if you can, Edgy Mulk. I really appreciate it, dude. You're killing me a secret. So the reason I sent you that message is because since I'm not streaming after this, I have some time. Yeah. Where do I look at this message? On Discord? Yeah, Discord. Um, I don't know. I get that. Just throwing it. Oh, yeah. No, that's all right. Girl from class. We're, we're just talking about pity lurkers. But, um, but like, girl from class, I know you, you work. I know you enjoy my content because you keep talking about Hylix and you're the only person that keeps talking yeah, about Hylix. No, again, Crystal, I'm not talking about people that, like, I do that all the time where, like, I'll, especially after a raid or something like that. I'm so fucking exhausted after six, seven hours of streaming and I'll chat for 15 minutes and then I will just, I'll still watch, be watching them, but I'll be like talking to my wife, watching a YouTube video that I've been wanting to watch or watch a movie I've been holding off, but have them there as kind of a multitask kind of thing. Right. So, um, um, yeah. And, and I don't, like I said, I'm not trying to denigrate or make people feel bad for lurking. I think that's perfectly fine. Oh my God. Hylix it, two it, side eyes. It's, it's more about specifically like, don't even lurk them if you don't enjoy their content. Just don't do it. Yeah. Like, you know I, what I mean? I, I want the lurkers in there lurking me because they're busy and they, they still want to listen to me. Yeah, exactly. There, there's different levels of lurk right <laughs> there's different levels to it there's the one where it's like i have six tabs open and i've muted all of them except for the one that i'm actually watching and the other five i'm lurking when really all it is is you're just doing it because you want to boost their number mm. and i get it that that comes from a place of wanting to support them but like i don't do that i don't know if you do that fox if uh... i'm watching us i'll watch two streams at a time at most that's it Hey, Smart Life. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Hi. Um, Hi. Uh, yeah, I, 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 only, I literally only lurk people that... Because, like, I, I, this is my thing. Because I, I have, like, five... Cause sometimes five people streaming at the same time. So that you, sometimes I've had, like, Slappy Boner, uh, Reptiles Cock on Ice, uh, Puppy Erection, uh, Duo Cock Trio, and... Uh, I don't know, maybe there's someone else. And I... I can only I can only effectively watch two people at once. So what I used to do was like turn up their volumes, and then the other three I'd have a quieter, and then like mm-hmm. and then talk, and then go that, and then that. I had to swap between. But so I was gonna be careful doing that because of um, because you know I'm at work during that time. What's the chill listening? Oh, cool. Thanks, Ramen. Have you been? Hope you've been well. Ram, dude. Ram I'm man. Sorry. Yeah, I'm. Pro- I'm. Pro- I'm. Pro- I. I. I at least always say hello and like. Don't, and I don't even want to just say hello. I actually want to at least. Say like a sentence or two or something. Like I don't like just saying hello, because I'm always about conversations. Um, but, mm-hmm. yeah. but yeah, how you doing, Ramon Pond? How's everything going, dude? How's the stitching going? And Smart Life, how you doing? Just hi. Dragon Dog does his. Hi. Sp- I want to know what smart. I want to know about a Smart Life. How smart is he? How live is he? Guilty into playing the games that you want to play, and then I learned it's you just have to always stand your. Oh yeah, I mean that's a different conversation entirely. Like, 
that's another conversation made for you for the future is yeah Switch, um, swapping games yeah swapping games playing games for your community things like that i i don't like i know some streamers do it i used to do it i don't let my community pick my games anymore yeah i don't let i don't let them do it i i think and I've... that's not oh you guys sorry puzzle no 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 i was just saying because like they've and even if i curate it like oh these are the ones i'm considering playing it's like I feel like I have to go into the stream and the game with a certain amount of excitement. You know what I mean? Or a certain mood or a certain attitude and a certain sense of control. Like I am playing this game because I want to play it. You know what I mean? And that will shape my perspective and my um, attitude during the stream versus if someone else is choosing it for me, or if I let hype dictate it or new releases dictate it, then that severely affects my ability to perform well. See, my 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 thing is like, um, I think I, I used to ask people, but they would never tell me. And I think I probably just have that standoff as attitude where like people just know because I'm just so knowledgeable about games that I'm always going to pick, that I'm, that I'm going to pick something good anyway. Or sometimes people don't. Uh, so some people don't realize that. Um, so... And I think people like my stream because I do keep a variety because I always find games that you people would have never found. Whereas, like, I'm, like, finding... I'm trying to find the gems and shit. Um, hey, like Talk, Ghost of Tsushima. Hey, yeah, that classic indie game. Um, so, so yeah, like, I, I pride myself on trying to, like... I want people... I want my channel to be, like... That they come in and be like, what is Fox streaming today? Like, I have to see. Like, it's almost like... It's almost like a like a, a mixed bag that you never know what you're gonna do. Like I always like I always try and prioritize a brand new um, crossover game of the year. No, I'm good. <laughs> that definitely does deserve game of the year. Um, um, I always try and pick a game that's brand new just so that I can at least give that indie developer some love. Hopefully, I can get them some sales if the game is good, and then um and then try it and obviously get some new viewers as well from that. Um, but I don't mind going and play some game. Like, CrossCode is technically two years old. It did come on console um, two months ago, but now it's on, but it was on PC two years ago. So, like, I'm always willing to just try something out. Um, but, yeah, like, I always want to keep it fresh. And like, I always want to keep people guessing, like, what I'm going to play next. That's what, And I sometimes I don't even know what game I'm going to play next. But I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll just keep it keep it different. I've got, like, right now, I'm, this is probably the most organized I've ever been. I've got two two games. I'm probably going to play DMC 2 as well after CrossCode's done while I wait for mm -hmm. Welcome to the Elk to come out and um, that other game. Hylix 2 is going to be on Friday, Sleepy Grim, along with the other game, the unknown game. Hylix 2, Side Eyes. I bought Hunt Down off the back of the stream. Hunt Down, can you not say it? Afro, this stream is now going to become a Pornhub stream because now I'm going to jack up my dick off to that game because that game's fucking sick. The DMC 2 stream. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I fucking, oh man, Hunt Down. I could play that right now. I, I've got it still installed on my PS4, because sometimes I just play it just for fun. I just think it's just fucking incredible game. Incredible. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, I want to show you guys there's more to gaming out there than just whatever Ubisoft, Activision, EA tell you there is out there to be played. Heaps of cool shit. Alright, anyway. Should we wrap up this Q&A? Because I think sure thing. That's what made Maybe me fall with sign all world art. Sign all world art's great example. Oh. Yeah, I had, I had probably five people at least that I talked to, um, that said after they saw sign all world hearts, they went out and got it. It's a, it's a it's a remarkable game. How much stand by edge lube and uh, and alcohol do you have on sound with DMC? What do you mean? I don't. I have actually no beef with the game. It's boring, but I can still play it. Pretzel, you fuck. There's no alerts on the way. Oh. Whoops. But so did you... Fox, did you want to do the thing that I messaged you about, or do you want to just end? Oh, we'll just end. And I'll, um, I'll, uh, and I'll, um, rate, go rate someone. I got Sarah how else is because Pretzel 100%. It. Yeah. And that was a fun, like, that's, that, you know what? Like, I know um, there's people out there who get trophies for people out there. I'm not going to lie, I would actually, like, low-key do that as a job. Just get Siren Wild Wildhearts Platinums for people. Um, Siren Eye Wild Hearts and probably even Hunt... Oh, I probably would do Hunt Down. You had to pay me fucking big bucks for that game. Because that was a fucking Well, with game. Siren Eye Wild Hearts, it makes sense because then you can unlock Wild Heart mode and shit for people by doing YOLO. Yeah. No, because you don't unlock Wild Heart ranks until you beat YOLO. 
Oh, I'm just, I'm so, I just gained the platinum for them. Which all you have to do is just do the Zodiac quizzes. The, the, yeah. the thingo. I uh, didn't even notice you were going to be... It's, yeah, yeah, there's no um, no alerts on the screen. All right, guys. Well, thanks to everyone being here. We'll, um, and thanks for all the questions people submitted as well. So we'll put them on potentially on the next... Um, <clears throat> the next, uh, what's it called, podcast, which will be next week. Oh, 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 oh,